And this is Blumberg. You're looking good. Oh, thank you, Mr. Veronian. Have a good day. Oh, the fat bitch croaks. Hi, kid. <laughs> oh, the butt bites their asses off. Don't complicate it, huh, baby? We're running late. Come on, move your ass. Come on, come on, go hide, you dumb bimbo. Look, see, the deal's a deal, you know that. Now hit the road, and don't be late for tomorrow. Good morning, boss. Yeah, not yet at eight. Damn yeah, traffic. Any schmucks last night? Two. Drunk drivers. Wives bailed me. How safe? Oh, uh, one's a dentist. Big house in Encino. Ah. The other owns a condo, a Mercedes, and a boat in the marina. That's it? Just plain drunk? No hit and run? No murder? F afraid not, Mr. Haronian. Nothing like that. Shit. Ah, haven't had a good one in over a month. You know, I spoke to my cousin last night in Miami. Jesus, some action he gets down there. You know them Colombians come to him with millions in cash? That way he never has to worry about if they got money. They give it to him to hold. That way, when they do get popped, bingo, he's got them back on the street in two, three hours. Meantime, he's collecting interest on the millions he's holding in the bank. Some fucking business, I'm telling you. I'm glad to hear your cousin's doing so good. I hope he drops dead, the cheap fuck. Haronian Bale. Oh, just a minute, Pete. I'll put Mr. Haronian on. This could be a big one, boss. Yeah, Pete, what do you got? Yeah? Yeah? Uh-huh. All right, Pete. You tell the little lady not to worry about a thing. I'm on my way down there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and Pete, there's a definite bonus in this for you. All right. 
Well, Charlie, it looks like Christmas in July. We got ourselves an heiress. Pick him up, kids. Come on, you can do better than that. Pick him up. Dad, that's right. Dad, now you got him. Keep those hands up. Keep him up. What's your man? Yeah, what's it to you? Man, somebody's gonna rip his head off. You don't know how to cover. Hey, why don't you go about your business and let me take care of mine, huh? Keeping fighters like that out of trouble, old man, is my business. You mind if I show you boy something? Hey, man, you know, you look familiar. I don't know you, do I? You shit me. You don't know who I am. Hey, brothers, hold it, hold it, just a minute. Man, shit. Wait a minute there. Who the fuck are you? Who am I? You ever heard of Muhammad Ali? Yeah, so what? You ever heard of Michael Tyson? And what are these guys to you? How long you been training? 32 years. Now get your ass out of the ring. Now, the old man is going to see now. He doesn't know who I am. I mean, I talked to Ray Cross to Michael Tyson. I talked to Roper Dome to Ali. Oh, wait a minute. Just let me show you something. Do me a favor. Stand over here one more. Stand right there. OK. Now, King, show me your open door. It is King Clive, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, all good. OK, show me your open door. Come on, let's go. Now, you see, now that's pathetic. You could get arrested for manslaughter. Drop your arms. Come on. All the way down. Come on, put them down. Just relax. All the way down. There you go. That's good. That's good. Now, you see, we just start this whole thing over from scratch. <laughs> Hi! You hurt my fighter! All right. Back off, brothers. The king and I got a date with the judge in the morning. Come on, move. Hello. Yeah, Garcia, how's the baby? Oh, just fine, Mr. Horonian. You got something for me? Yeah, well, actually, I'm talking about some charity work I'm going to give you, Garcia, but I happen to know you need the money. There's this uh, senile old Indian. He ain't got a phone or anything, and uh, I'm nervous that he's going to forget about his court date, which is tomorrow. So I'll throw you 50 bucks. You drive out there and you remind him. Right? 50 bucks ain't much. Where's he live? He's in a junkyard. <laughs> Mr. Coronian, that's 100 miles. Could you pay for my oh, mileage? Hey, I see you. I'm trying to be a nice guy and give you some charity work, but uh, maybe I'm talking to the wrong guy, right? I'll call somebody else. No, don't. I'll go. Uh, I'll come right over and get the papers. Uh, Mr. Horonia, what did the old man do? Manslaughter. Manslaughter? Ah, oh, too bad. Nice try, though. It's better be important. Mr. Who Hallahan? Aronian? It's for me, honey. Aronian? Better be important. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got a big one last night. A million dollar bail. Her name is Annette Ridgway. Do you know her? Ridgway? Like in uh, newspapers, timber, and oil? Yeah, yeah, that's right. She got picked up last night with some guy. He got caught with uh, 40 pounds of cocaine in the trunk of his Ferrari. She's out on a million dollar bail. Well, that's how you get rich, isn't it, Aram? What do you want from me? Check her out. She's doing court in the night. I just want to make sure she shows, all right? And if she don't show, you're out the mill, right? Hey, come on. Don't even say things like that. It ain't funny. Well, what's in it for me? A day's work. I'll give you 500. Oh, Aram, these people are very important. It's going to be very difficult getting information on them. Make it 1,000. 750. Nine. Eight. Eight fifty. Jesus, you're taking the fucking food off my table. What am I going to say? All right, it's a deal. Call you as soon as I got any information. All right, don't wait too long, all right? I'm out the door. Bye, Aram. Annette, Ridgeway? Yeah, yeah, you know her? I used to, yeah. She started hanging around with the wrong crowd. Her parents disowned her. 
Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Her, um, her father's attorney is my father's attorney. <laughs> well, um, you know, I've got to go. Uh, why don't you finish up the hour with the ball machine and uh, I'll call you later. We'll go out for some sushi and uh, some sake. Thanks, bye. Woo! Sushi. Ball machine. Yeah, 200 an hour for a ball machine. I don't need this shit. Okay, man, okay. I'm leaving. That thing is gonna keep me from getting my money.
Okay, Tano, uh, you can stand up now. I'm hit. Not yet. Rubber bullets uh, meant for riots, uh, but I think the next one could be real. Boyfriend ain't too smart, is he, Missy? He's a policeman. I just thought I'd let you know. He's a two-bit bounty hunter by the name of Roger Donaldson. And who are you? Your daddy sent us to make sure you get home. Yeah, I'll talk to you later. Christ. Who is these machine guns? Kidnapping. Hell of a nice quiet gig, huh? Thanks, Bronian. Dig it, I ran that plate for you, man. It belongs to the Shepherd Detective Agency. Two clowns are Eddie Fishman and Mo Rowdy. Call their officers and tell them that four Spanish-looking guys in a van number 2CQN654 just canceled Eddie and Mo's tickets. The line in front of 2200 Skyline Drive, Pasadena. Jesus, White Bridge, you okay? I'm okay. I'm following the van now, headed for Pasadena. Hey, Inspector, you no want problem. a race? Oh. Hi. the heiress ever see her again no no sign of her i took the first exit i couldn't double back it's all industrial over there they must have ducked into a warehouse or something any cash for us in all this mess man i am broke as it stands now nothing but i got a plan hey white bread we get the girl back keep her to maybe say an hour before court time and I think Heronian's gonna be ripe for the picking. We stand to make a lot of money on this one. Of course, it's gonna be a little unethical. I don't know if you can interrupt you. Oh, yes, we are. Oh, yes, you are. Well, this could be the start of WB Blue Beaner Bail Bondsman Bounty Hunters. No, no, not enough clout. What about Mason Blue Walcott? and associates. No, 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 no. How about Manuel Jesus Palo Garcia? Look, nobody knows you. Everybody knows me. Time, and... time. So you do me a favor. You hit the warehouses where they turned off, see what you can find out. What is the name of that Iranian Coke dealer who uh, runs a restaurant? Amir. Amir. Talk to Amir and see if you can find out who was expecting the Coke. And what are you going to do? 
finish the game? Uh, later. Right now, I'm gonna check on Danny Ridgeway. And you call me if anything breaks, I'm out of here. Hi, this is Roger Donaldson from the Bail Bonds Company. I called earlier. Matthew Ridgway, and you're Roger Donald. Can I call you Roger? Sure. Let's take a stroll, Roger. Eddie's mother was very upset with this business, and I want to keep her away from it as much as possible. Oh, no, no I, I totally understand it. Murder and kidnapping, that's gotta be devastating. Well, let's not over-dramatize this, Roger. I mean, um, I'm sure we'll hear from Eddie before too long. We always do. Miss Ridgway, uh, what are, what are the police saying? Do they have any clues? I don't want the police brought in on this at all. What? You mean the police don't know? At least until I make sure this isn't another one of Nettie's pranks. Pranks? Not two hours ago, I saw two guys sprawled in your driveway. Your daughter's kidnapped by four guys with Uzi machine guns. And you're standing here telling me you think it's a prank and the police don't know? That's right. And as long as we don't do anything rash, they'll never know. <gasps> well, what about the two stiffs? Roger, your interest in this matter is to make sure that Nettie appears in court at the appointed hour. Is that correct? Yeah, 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 right. All right, I'll make a deal with you, Roger. You forget everything you saw here today, and I'll give you my personal guarantee that Nettie will be there. Do we have a deal? Well, um, I'm going to have to have this in writing for Mr. Aronian, you understand. I've already anticipated that. Plus a little something extra for your trouble. I was counting on you not being a dummy, Roger. Yeah, that's neat. <laughs> that's real neat. Well, there's no reason for me to mess around here now, is there? Like they say, see you in court. And mum's the word. Totally mum. Hi, Bruce, you need some fancy wheels. Wait, let's see. I have the perfect thing for you. A lovely Alante. Sounds good. I'll take it. Bring it back tomorrow. Oh, I just know you're going to love this. Such a lovely, elegant sound. Alante. You know, I used to watch you play. You were one of our favorites. You always look so good in your uniform. <laughs> and I love that position. Nose tackle. Ooh, it's such a descriptive word. Nose tackle. <sighs> Don't you ever quit? Don't you miss it? Well, some. But now I have more time for the ladies. Oh! Wow, well, now you. <laughs> I beg you, your pardon, senora, but I wonder if you can help me find this wonderful gentleman. You see, they see my work and they, uh, they tell me that they rented this warehouse and would I please contact them for a twice a month spraying and killing bugs. What is the address? My Pedro, my youngest son, he eat the paper and he throw it away. Uh, I thought maybe you might know these men because they're not North Americans. Nice men, maybe from South America. They rent this place not too long ago. You should keep the papers away from your children. I know, senora. I'm very sorry. Let me look in the computer.
Now then, this is a list of all the space rented in this area in the last two years. Fantastico. Thank you so very, very, very much. Thank you. Thank you. Muchas gracias. And may the bird of happiness fly up your nose. <laughs> Good evening, sir. Good evening. Here's your tape. Thank you. Now, no deaths and no danger, all right? I'll watch it like it was my mom. Good evening, sir. Can I be of some service? Mason Walcott at the mirror end. Of course, Mr. Walcock. Please, follow me. Ah, Mason Walcott. What are you doing in this part of town? Word uh, in private, if you don't mind. Of course, my dear. Would you excuse us for just a few minutes? <sighs> if they made women like that in my country, Mr. Walcott, I will not be living here. They make women like that everywhere I'm here. But now the money it takes to buy them, you can only make that here. How true. How true. What can I do for you, my friend? Well, last night, one of your brothers got his Ferrari dusted. The man's in the cooler. His girlfriend made bill. Now she's missing. What does the girl mean to you? I just need to get her to court on a given day. Any idea where she is? Just a rumor, of course. But uh, from what I hear, they will uh, release the girl if someone comes up with some kind of compensation for their loss. How much? Very much. Five mil. All right, thanks, Amir. How long does it? Don't break his concentration. I've been all over the west side looking for those fucking Colombians, and WB's working on his fucking forearm. Forehand, Bean, forehand. Be glad it's not a serve. Now that really pisses him off. You guys know how hard it is to hit a ball like that? Just right? When it's coming at you that fast? Huh? Tell us. I'll tell you. You hit it one millisecond too late, off the court to the right. One millisecond too early. Off the court. Hey, white bread. I don't come up with a rent. We're gonna be draping a blanket over this net and sleeping on this damn court. Get real, man. We gotta get the girl back from the fucking Colombians. Just like that. Okay. So then we find the Colombians. We go in there shooting. The Colombians got guns, right? Maybe the girl gets it. The girl gets it. We lose, right? Right. So tell us, old wise one. What do we do? Hey, Bean. I went over those chair sheets you gave me from the real estate office. Ready for this? Several of the warehouses are owned by Daddy Ridgeway and rented out to what looks like to be dummy corporations. That's why I couldn't find no connection with the Colombians. Are you thinking Mr. Ridgeway is tied in with this dope trade in some way? It's a hell of a coincidence, isn't it? You know what I think? I think we need to pay a little visit to the warehouses. Gas leak? Yeah. That's what I smell. Hey, B. Not the gas man again. <laughs> Morning, senor. Got a report of a gas leak in one of your warehouses? It's news to me, Pancho. I'll check with the foreman down at his office. He's a gay. Sure you got the right address, Pancho? 33150 Avalon. Report came in last night at 11 o'clock. That would have been a night shift. 11 o'clock? Takes to 10 o'clock for you fuckers to get around here. This whole place could have blown sky high by now. What do you want from me, man? I just go where they tell me. Okay, Pancho. You go on down to Foreman Shack. It's on the left. He'll deal with it. Thanks, gringo. May the bird of happiness build a nice little nest up your nose. Nice 
smart-ass Mexican with a cushy job. said it would. Be careful. Which time we got on that thing anyway? He didn't say. Suit yourself, but I'm warning you. A gas leak could be a very... Like I said, like I say, it could go bang any minute. So, bitch, do something! Uh, shut up the ass! Okay, you sure it's okay to go poking around now? Jesus, man, do something! Anything! Okay, man. Okay. Fire! Wait a minute. This is the same guys who grabbed the girl. You sure? I'm sure. Hit it! Now what? All right, guys, just relax. Here's what we're gonna do. The only way out of here is the exit back here. How do you want to handle? So I think this? what we ought to head start. on. We'll take the head on, and then. Ah! Those are gonna get us killed. Hey, you guys! Everybody out! Fire! Fire! Gas leak! We got a very dangerous gas leak here. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Gas leak! Bean. Who the fuck are you? We're from the Southern California Gas Company. We got a very serious gas leak here. So everybody out! But come on here, then, man. Show me your badge. Badge? I've been waiting for this day. Badges? I ain't got no stinking badge, man. Come over here, motherfucker! I will shoot you! Oh, I don't like this. Hey, man, what's with you? This place could blow up. You nuts or something? Leave now, or we'll kill her! Okay, let the girl go. Take her and we'll leave. You leave now, puto! And we'll blow her away! No, no! Don't hurt her! I'll call up my men. No shooting. Don't hurt her, man. This is police business, man. Kidnapping for shit's sake. It's called the fucking FBI. Oh, that's a great idea. Bring the FBI in, the girl gets killed, we get no payday. That's a great idea. No way. We got the best chance of saving her. How the hell you figure that? Here they come. All right, Blue. You take the wheel and you follow them. You stay on the phone with an open line. I'm gonna hang around here for a few minutes to see what happens. Got you. Real cute. 
WB. Listen, I'm onto the car with the girl in it. Let the coffee growers spot you. Follow them, make it look good, but do me a big favor, huh? No car chases. Jesus, these guys drive worse than their Orientals. White Brit said, no car chases. Okay. Is he saying that this is too good to be true? How about just a little one? <laughs> okay, Blue, a little itty bitty one. <laughs> oh, shit! Sight shit. <laughs> okay, Blue, get me in a little bit closer. Why is it so much with you, Z, huh? Columbia. We could be a big hit. <laughs> oh shit! Go! Oh. Uh, you all right? I don't make enough money be doing this kind of shit, man. You know what I was trying to remember? Yeah, probably even get some clean shorts. Oh, that shit. I was trying to remember what White Bread said, how we were going to cash in on this deal. You remember? Yeah. Uh, we get the girl, get her to court, collect our fees. No, fuck the fees, man. That's peanuts. No, White Bread had some other scam. Don't you remember? Yeah, I remember him telling some kind of story, but I don't remember how the damn thing went. guy when that guy was busted. You hear me? Five million dollars or the coke. The Iranians, they're laughing at him. We're going to make this work because nobody laughs at the boss. Well, you tell the boss that we are in the dope business and sometimes we have to cut our losses just like any other business. I said it better myself. Now drop your guns. Drop them! Hey, no problem. No problem. Right now, untie the girl. Anybody else want to save the taxpayers some money? Okay! Okay! It's an old problem of mine. I have trouble killing people. Come on, let's go. 
Kau. You know this sounds like one of WB's fairy tales. Tuh. Kidnapping, gunfights, car chases. Come on! What do you think I am here, stupid? You think we shut up the van like that to make our story sound good? I wouldn't put it past you, but let me tell you guys so. Yeah, Heroni and Bail Bonds. How? WB. So where are you? Did you pick up the girl? Uh huh. You went right over to her house and you picked her up, right? <laughs> WB. Mwah. That's why you are the greatest, Dave. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. You cannot trust these two guys. Uh-huh. Yeah, they're trying to steal the bread off my table. Okay, babe. You stop by the office, I'll buy you some lunch, all right? All right. All right. You know, you two bozos got no brains at all. What do you think I am, nuts here? Why don't you get the fuck out of here before I fire the both of you? <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, a couple of buddies I work with are having some problems. You know, I still don't know your name. Wait. Friends call me WB. WB. I love names that start with initials. You know, I really do want to thank you for helping me out back there. No problem, really. No, but I mean, I really do want to thank you. You saved my life. My day's work. Can we stop at this motel? What? Well, I mean, I'd like to take a shower and wash my hair. Right now? Well, look, I've been pushed and pulled all over this city for the last two days. I just feel like my skin is crawling up. Do you mind? No, no, of course not. Excuse me, sugar. I was in the hot tub. That's that's fine. Uh, that's uh, we need a room. Fifteen bucks an hour. Oh, an, an hour. <laughs> what do you get for all day? Take my advice, Dad. Save your money. Most guys think they're going to last all day, but they leave in about forty-five minutes. Ah, uh, no, no, no. You don't understand. This this is different. <laughs> I hear that line about five times a day. No, no, really. Uh, but the lady, she just, she just kind of wants to wash up. Oh, I see. One of those. A Sam. Uh, okay. Um, one hour, and 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 keep the change. No movie. Uh, no movie. Thanks. Well, you come on back any time now, sugar. You know what a Sam is? Yeah, I know what a Sam is. Got a massage head. Do massage heads. I would really like to take a shower, but I have this thing about putting dirty clothes back on. Well, I wasn't intending for you to put your dirty clothes back on. I'll just wait here and relax. Don't be long. You know, come to think of it, I really could use a shower.
you right now. Shit. Yeah. Blue. White bread. You wouldn't believe it. It's a long story, all right? I'm at the Stardust Motel down on Second Avenue. <laughs> You're where? <laughs> she did what? <laughs> you want me to bring you what? Yeah, I said clothes. It ain't that funny. <laughs> Goddamn right, I think it's funny. You shithead, you. <laughs> you ain't gonna believe this. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Look, I'm sorry for leaving your motel like that. I just don't know who to trust anymore. All right, Annette, you listen to me. Your life is in danger. You come back here, we can help you. You take off now, you've got real problems. Oh, easy for you to say. All that's important to you is that you get me in court so your boss doesn't lose his bail. Annette, listen to me. You're in the middle of a coke war between Iranians and Colombians. We think your boyfriend was a patsy set up to take a fall. Look, I don't know anything about any dope, and he wasn't my boyfriend. I just met the guy. If we can prove that, you got nothing to worry about. But you take off now, girl, you got real problems. You're going to become a fugitive. I'm very confused. I'm going to see my father. No. No, don't do that. Don't be near. I'll go near your dad's place. You guys might find it very hard to believe. Never made it. She just wanted to wash up. The motel was her idea. No shit. In any case, we gotta go talk to Daddy Ridgeway and convince him that his daughter needs protection until we get her to court. for help me out. I, I'm sorry for all the problems I've caused you. Well, that's all right. Where's Mom? I sent her out to the country for a few days. Who are these men? Well, they believe I had something to do with you and your boyfriend getting picked up by the police. And they want to recover the five million dollars they think they, they lost. Dad, I had nothing to do with it. I had just met the guy in a bar. I mean, it's obviously a setup. Perhaps you are right. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Cesar Zalazar. Well, Mr. Zalazar, I can only tell you that my father had nothing to do with your friend getting arrested. So why don't you and your friends get off our property? Well, Nettie is not as simple as that. I've already started negotiating to sell the house and a few other properties. Dad, you don't owe these guys anything. They're scumbags. Why didn't you call the police? Strong words, young lady. But you see, now our competitors will step in and take over part of our market. And they make fun of me. And I uh, cannot allow that to happen. Well, for your information, I did call the police. And they're on their way right now. 
I don't believe you, miss. But just in case, uh, you are coming with us. Oh, God, here we go again. Is this all you guys do? Why don't you leave her alone, Caesar? You'll have your money by the end of the week. Dad, it's all right. I'll go. I wouldn't want you to change your mind, Mr. Ridgway. She will be safe with us. Take her. Aliste el avión. Que nos vamos. If you want to see your daughter alive again, don't do anything stupid. Caesar. You don't need to hurt her. Guys thinking what I'm thinking. Same kind of cars. No, 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 fellas. Top speed on this is 50. Forget it. Pull in. Mr. Ridgeway, this is Roger Donaldson. Listen, I really need to talk to you. Come in. Roger, what are you doing here? Is Nettie here? She was, but she left. With whom? With some friends to do business. Ridgeway, we know the Colombians are using your shipping and warehouse facilities. We also know they're holding your daughter since I helped her escape. That's my car in the driveway she arrived in. And those men, they're not the police? No, they're not the police. They're friends of mine. They work with me. Level with me, man. Those bastards grab her. They've got her. And they want millions, so they're going to kill her. I'm sorry. I tried to tell her to stay put. You have any idea where they took her? No, but a man called Zalazar, he's the boss. He made a phone call in Spanish. He didn't think I understood. He told the pilot to get the plane ready. Any idea which airport? No, but it was an 818 area code, which means... The valley. Blue! Bean, I need you guys! Well, what can I do to help? I have a plane. Great, we'll use it. Listen. Call Van Nuys Flight Service, see if there's a private plane taken off. Use the FBI bullshit. You take Burbank, same line. I'll take Whitman. Underword here, FBI badge number 3315638. Who am I speaking to? Oye, Ramon, es Jesus Garcia. Dame, hazme un favor. Let me tell you one thing, Malcolm. If you let these guys leave the country, believe me, you're going to be transferred to Nome. Yeah, that's right. In Alaska. Thanks, Red. Blue, I got it. The plane's waiting for you at Burbank. You stay here, pretend you're cooperating with them. I'll call you if anything breaks. Took off about five minutes ago. Had the girl with him and a long, tall fellow looked like the leader. You find out where in Baja? Ten years in the bureau wasn't all wasted, you know. Pilot made a phone call from here and used a long distance operator. Easy trace. They were headed to a place called uh, Aquadulce. Aquadulce. Fucking bandit country, man. Well, you're all tanked up, ready to go. Have at it. Thanks, Fred. Good hunting. Not a fucking dime yet, man. What's Juanita gonna feed the babies? Don't worry, when we get in the air, I'll have Red call Heroni and tell him to get some cash to him. Come on, come on, this is a bail bonds business. There's not a fucking Hispanic charity here. Yeah, I'll deliver a bag of groceries over to his house, but no cash, because they'll use it to buy marijuana and wine. Yeah, all right. Uh, Charlie, take 20 bucks for, no, wait, make that 10. Take 10 bucks from Petty Cash. Go down a corner to grocery, the one that sells uh, day old bread, bent canned goods. Deliver a package over there to uh, Garcia's. Bozos think I'm Santa Claus. Llamándole a Agua Dulce? 
Entre agua al dulce. Por favor, entre. Les estoy llamando. I don't think they have a radio down there. Good. Let's land and see what they do out down there. We spotted this place from the air, and we thought we'd land and top off our tanks. We say you some. None you speak Spanish? No, no. First time down here, we were checking out some condos in Cabo San Lucas. And um, here we are. Here we are. Where are we? Agua dulce. What does this mean, is nalgada dulce? Agua dulce means sweet water in English. Oh, sweet water. <laughs> sweet water. Well, where might the sweet water be? There's a spring down the canyon. Really? Hey, you guys want to visit the spring? No, 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 senor. No visitors. Private property. Oh, too bad. Well, maybe next time. So I guess we'll just get our tanks topped off and we'll be on our way. I will come back, collect the money. Gracias. I got 20 bucks as Zalazar owns this operation. If you look to your left, you'll see very new and very, very expensive hangars. From the air, this uh, place called Sweetwater looks to be about 10 to 12 miles. All right, here's what we got to do. We got to buy some time and check out what's happening here. And we got to figure out a way to get down to Uncle Dukes. Yeah, how are we going to do this? Quick, bro, give me the roll. What's he up to? I don't know. Te doy 20 dólares que me lleve a las aguas del agua dulce. 30 dólares. 50 dólares de americano. Órale, está bien. Condos, huh? I think it better for a football stadium. <laughs> Looks like it's the end of the road. Gracias. Hola, ¿cómo le ha ido? Muy bien, bienvenido. Sí, está bien, órale. Gracias. Ándele, pues. Que le Pásale. Vaya bien. Muchas gracias, muchas gracias. Esto es lo que voy a hacer, ¿eh? Mire. Mire. Sure Está 
Hey! I know you! You're Mason Wilcott! The football player! The Oakland Raiders! I don't believe this. That's me, man. I oh, shit, I watch you play on TV when I live in California. Hey, you are something, hombre. So what are you doing down here? You're with my buddies. You, you help them fix refrigerators? Yeah, the best fixes in the business. You quit football for fixing refrigerators? Amigo, there's big money in refrigerators. Shit, I'll give you my best horses. Uh, horses? End of the road. If we're gonna fix Mr. Salazar's refrigerator, we gotta go the rest of the way on horseback. Oh, great. How come Senor Salazar no send you his chopper for you guys? Oh, his chopper is, um, it's not working today. It's working this morning. He flew over. Well, it was working this morning, but he's having some problems with it now. Yeah, we'll fix it when we get up there. Come on, let's get the horses. Horses. Hey, that game, we sacked the quarterback for the Saints. Man, beat the shit out of him. What, what was... What was his name? That was old uh, Archie Manning. That's the prick. Oh, flat like a fucking tortilla. Uh, he ever play anymore? Not much, Edo. <laughs> That's good. Not much, he says. Man, shit, you scrambled his brain. Teach him respect. <laughs> How are we going to get rid of sports fan once we get there? Beats me. All I, I know is we're getting Sophia into this deeper and deeper. All day long. So far, we haven't made a dime yet. Come on, look at the fun you're having. Behind the Baja, <laughs> private plane, riding horseback on a beautiful day. <laughs> your brain's on vacation, WB. But you know what? Your plane. mouth is working overtime. But I think I gotta lose a few pounds. Now, uh, Senorita Ridgeway, I hate to see you tied up like this. I will have the men undo the ropes uh, if you promise not to try anything stupid. You are in my compound, Senorita. You are surrounded by a hundred miles uh, of nothing. So there is no sense in you trying to uh, escape. I'm not going to try anything. Good. Just exactly how long do you plan to keep me here? <laughs> Until your father comes up with our demands. We have given him a week. Again, senorita. Nothing stupid. Where'd you learn to ride? Loosen up on his reins. Go ahead, kick him a little bit. Come on. Bandits, I tell you, take cover! Guys, fucking bandit country, I told you. Thought we were tourists, huh? <laughs> right for the picking? Watch this shit. Those banditos are getting brave working this close to Senior Salazar. He catch him, he shoot him down like dogs. <laughs> Those guys. Salazar. There's a time for shooting, and there's a time for talking. Hey! Don't shoot! That son of a bitch will shoot you on sight. My story don't sell. I deserve to be shot. Don't shoot! I'm a friend! I am an amigo! Hello! A crazy mother. Hey, yo, hey! Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Hey! Hey! 
Uh, Annette Ridgway. My name is Roger Donaldson. Your father sent me down here to make sure you return safely after he makes the proper arrangements here with uh, Mr. Zalazar. Oh, so you work for Daddy? Well, I work for a company that your father hired. Nice place for condos down here, huh? Come on. Alberto, give it a look for life. Thank you. Thank you. Sit down, Mr. Donaldson. Now, why don't you tell me uh, how you found my place? I checked the logs at the small airports, and your pilot made a call to check the weather here in Baja. <laughs> Very good. What else do you know about me? Huh? Well, in my profession, you try and get as much information as possible. I know that you're, um, well, that you're one of the major suppliers of cocaine to the West Coast, and that you're using Annette's father's company to ship and store the cocaine. Now, I also know that Annette's father, Mr. Ridgway, had nothing to do with that shipment getting picked up. It was a setup by your reigning competitors. <laughs> that is a lot of information for one individual, Mr. Donaldson. What makes you think I can afford to let you go? Well, all this information and some more information will be released to the police if Miss Ridgway and I don't return to Los Angeles one time. <sighs> I believe you, Mr. Donaldson. You seem to be a very clever and capable young man. <sighs> Well, I intend to keep my end of the deal. 
Let us hope uh, Miss Ridgway's father uh, keeps his. Oh, uh, no problem, right? Make yourself comfortable. Feel free to uh, take a bath. But don't wander too far. This can be a hostile country, Mr. Donaldson. Gutsy move, Roger. Oh, to tell you the truth, it was the only move I had. I'm sorry for leaving you in the motel like that. Yeah, it's real bad for my reputation. Let's not worry about that now. We gotta find a way to get you the hell out of here. But he said it's like 100 miles from anywhere. He's not lying. Well, don't you think he's gonna keep his end of the bargain? To take your father's house, his money, his business, and he'll kill us both. last time. Maybe not. Maybe we can save his ass again. Good night. When is notice? What are we doing? We're gonna go to bed and we're gonna take off all of our clothes. What? Come on, this is some kind of trick to get me to... Yes, this is some kind of trick to get you. Whoa. Breathe hard. How about some moans and screams? Moans and screams? Suit yourself, whatever comes natural. Now. Oh, yeah, what time was it? 5 a.m. The fuckers oh. finally went to bed. Two of them hung outside WB's love nest until five minutes ago. It's almost dawn. If they don't show, we gotta make a run for it. I'm scared, Roger. Oh, that's a good sign. How are we gonna handle this? Diversion and confusion. Show up, lover boys awake down here. The bamboo? Looks good and dry to me. Go for it.
Cristo! What are you doing? It sounds like you blew up the whole fucking place! It wasn't for the lack of trying. like sitting fucking ducks here, man. Can I have that gun? Where in the hell is WB?
<laughs> Piece of cake. Bean, give me a roll. Vaya con Dios. got the girl, but it's gonna cost you some extra bucks to get her back. Over. Hey, come on, Roger. Don't do this to me. How much? Over. Well, I don't know. What do you think the girl's worth, guys? 150 grand? No, no, no. She ride the horse good. $200,000. She's a hell of a shot. 250. 250. Going once? Going twice? So. Two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, Aram. Over. I can't hear you, Roger. You're cutting in and out. Uh, just bring the girl in and we'll work it out. <laughs> Over. Look, I'll make it worth your while. Honest. Two hundred fifty thousand. There must have been uh, ten million in that safe back there. Say what? Bean. Blue.
so it don't matter the muscle you the professionals we work and stop all over you hearts like steel hammers don't you know you never win yeah they got just one thing in common say they're gonna outlaw sin